If x equal minus 1 is a solution of the equation x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 3 equal to 0, find the other roots of the equation, real or complex. Let's define the polynomial px to be x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 3. Since x minus 1 is a root, we know that x plus 1 is a factor of px. This means that if we divide px by x plus 1, we will get a quotient qx and a remainder which is 0. Let's perform the division. px is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 3. To divide that by x plus 1, we divide the leading term x cubed by the leading term x and we have x squared. Let's multiply x squared back into the divisor and write the answer after we flip the sign of every term. x squared times x is x cubed, we write minus x cubed. x squared times 1 is x squared, we write minus x squared. Now we add these two terms. We have x cubed minus x cubed equal to 0. 3x squared minus x squared is 2x squared. And we have 5x plus 3. Divide the leading term by the leading term. And you will have 2x. 2x times x is 2x squared. We write minus 2x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x, we write minus 2x. If we add these two expressions, 2x squared and minus 2x squared cancel, 5x minus 2x would be 3x, and we have a plus 3 left from before. The leading term divided by the leading term will give us 3. 3 times x is 3x, we write minus 3x. And 3 times 1 is 3, we write minus 3. And we add these two expressions, and we will get 0. Therefore, we can write x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 3, which is our dividend, is equal to x plus 1, which is the divisor, times x squared plus 2x plus 3, which is the quotient, plus 0, which is the reminder. Therefore, we've been able to factor our polynomial. Now our equation was x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 3 equal to 0. We were able to write the left-hand side as x plus 1 times x squared plus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. The product of two expressions has become 0. Either the first expression is 0, or the second expression is 0. We see that our cubic equation is now reduced to two equations, one linear and the other one quadratic. The linear one can be solved to give us the root that we already know of, x equal minus 1, which helped us factor the polynomial we defined. The second equation is quadratic and can be solved using, for instance, quadratic formula or direct factoring. If I use the quadratic formula, x would be minus b plus or minus root 
b squared minus 4 ac divided by 2 a and if I simplify this expression I'd rather write these as x plus minus to indicate that there are two solutions here minus 2 plus or minus and under the root we will have 4 minus 12 which is minus 8 divided by 2 we can see that our roots are complex we can rewrite the roots as minus 2 plus or minus root minus 1 times root 8 divided by 2 which can be further simplified to minus 2 plus or minus j and for root 8 we can write root 4 times 2 and the denominator we have a2 now this is equal to minus 2 plus or minus j and we have root 4 times root 2 divided by 2 this is minus 2 plus or minus j 2 root 2 divided by 2 I can factor a 2 from the numerator and cancel it with the 2 in the denominator and I would have minus 1 plus or minus j root 2 these are the other two roots of the polynomial.